peeps of Earth, welcome to another episode of 101, baby! She's the Cinder. And he's Evan. And in this episode, we've got a little fickle matter. <laughs> this one is called the Fickle Mistress. And it is a New Zealand rosé. 2020. She's a minx and the devil in disguise. With a perfume seductive and flavors alluring, she'll make you cry with joy and weep with pain. Is this a prostitute or a bottle of wine? <laughs> Let's take that again. <laughs> the way you start laughing so slow. <laughs> it's recording in front of a live I'm I'm not normally a fan of rosés, but. Rosé is still better, ba ba ba, better than a white wine in my opinion. Without further ado, let's crack a neck. Crack a Tall boys. So as you can see, we've changed our red table for a white table. We're on location in the middle of Ruakaka. 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 Pictures to follow. Yo, let's let's roll some footage right now, maybe. I don't know. I'll see if I can edit that in. I don't know. My editing <laughs> skills aren't at that level yet. I, I feel. But if I can, let's roll on some footage right now. Okay. Cheers, y'all. Cheers. Cheers. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's a rosé. Mm -hmm. It's a rosé, all right. Nah. A rosy. It's not my favorite. It, it tastes also to me like. It, <laughs> it tastes. So <laughs> if you're wondering who's these people just walking past, don't fret. <laughs> it's the nannies. <laughs> people never ask us where our kids are, but that's where they are, with nannies. So you might have noticed we're just moving about the frame <laughs> constantly. You know, we're accustomed here to the, the new location, we're constantly drifting around, finding, finding our feet as as some might say. Yeah. Um, so, throughout the video, you'll see us ebbing and flowing across frame. <laughs> but there's no mind. We thought we will have a guest, but so this this class just went down. Yep. They were unwilling to, to, part to participate. Yeah. So that brings us to the very serious matter. Have you ever heard of Trade Me? If you're in New Zealand, you probably have. It's very awesome. It's very useful. You can buy any kind of shit you ever wanted. Everyone's secondhand shit that they don't need anymore can be yours. At a low, low price of one dollar. Potentially. Potentially. Not everything goes for one dollar. You know I mean, you make your trades, you get a one dollar reserve, which is a special feature. Dollars make you holler! But the pain of it all is fetching the stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's very exciting winning a, a bed, a bed, a fridge for five dollars. Going to fetch it. It's a pain in the flipping ass. It's another story. And now what we need to do is we like to bed on a Sunday RV after we've had this one-on-one -on -one sesh normally. Bed on shit that no one needs. <laughs> Literally, no one wants that shit. Like, oh yeah, here's a pull up door frame, pull up bar. No one's bed on it. Let me toss in a one dolly there. You're gonna use it? Ah, oh, definitely gonna use it. <laughs> definitely. You see a door frame we can use it? We've got at least three door frames into this. into, into this. In, into this lounge. It will fit. Yeah. 
definitely gonna use it. Do we ever use it? No. Never, ever, ever, ever taken it out of the car, even. No, it's out of the car now. <laughs> it's been upgraded to the Gary. <laughs> And then you surprised the next day when you saw what you bought. You're like, oh, did, I, did I really win that? Why? Why? <laughs> Why did you let me buy this shit? I, I distinctly remember asking you, should I, should I have been on this? <laughs> and I say definitely yes, you should. We need to get our summer bodies into shape. It sounded awesome at the time. Just the whole schlep of going to fetch it becomes an exercise. The worst is you never calculate kilometers. You always <laughs> see this awesome one dollar. Yeah, one what? dollar? dollar? It costs you twenty dollars just to get to location. <laughs> to pick it up and then twenty dollars back. Because it costs you forty dollars for a door frame pull-up bar you're never going to use. So what we do is we, we add on like benefits to it. So you know when we drive out we will probably pass like whatever scenery and when we come back or maybe we can stop for Krispy Kreme donuts. We'll oh, stop with the chemist. You know we make a whole uh, a run out of it. A trip. Mm. Yeah. Get all, all, all those little knickknacks sorted out. Oh didn't we have something we had to drop off at a post office? Yeah, yeah. let's do that. Yeah. Passport photos? Yeah, let's yep. do that. Yep. Didn't you need a sh Yeah, let's yeah. do that. Yeah. Get it all done. done. Fun on a bun. Go bugger and none. <laughs> no, that, that, don't you ever go bugger and none? I haven't seen lots of nuns yet. Because they're all bugger. <laughs> I must say, our view is really Oh, good. it's awesome. You can see our... These little islands. Four islands from here. Oh, yeah, there's a big one. Then yeah. a moderate one. Then two teeny weenies. Oh, there was some. I wish, yeah. Oh man. It's and, gorgeous source. And here we can hear the sea, like where we stay, there's no waves. But here are big waves, like we're used in South Africa. Yeah. It's, it's, it's so loud. loud again. You don't realize how you miss the sound till you hear it again. Yeah. Paradise. Yeah, yeah, but uh, out again. Um, shame on us for not able to show you. Maybe next time. Maybe. Yep, so like we mentioned, we found the twins on the beach because oh. this was going to be a double feature. We were going to have some guest appearance, but at the last minute, they thought. No, they, they won't the be able to. Yeah, they thought the show was lame and they didn't want to be a part of it. So now we'll only drink the one bottle. We've got the other bottle here. Just show, just show her. Pick up that mistress and make her known. Little Identical pickle. twins. Identical twins. We didn't lie. It's really, this, I really am enjoying this one. Yeah, it's, it's similar to uh, that one white one we did. Same. Of a South African wine now. No, man. The, the one we did that tastes like flat champagne. This tastes oh. like flat red champagne. Yeah, it does. I know it's rose and it's supposed to be sweet and all, but it tastes to me like flat tasty little. Yep, she, she's a fickle, but she is charming. She is temperamental yet bewitching. She is the fickle mistress. Jesus, she's a lot of shit. <laughs> oh, I would rate this on the woe scale. I would rate this. Uh, seven. No, it's, it's a good, a goodie. A goodie for. I think it will go well. Go down well on a hot day. You know, like when you're in the yeah, sun. So the, this one we've chilled. Yeah. So it tastes. Nice. Well, it tasted nice. So where we are in the hall, <laughs> in the sun. It tastes nice. So where we are with the hot, the heater on, watching the sun go down. <laughs> it tastes nice where we are sitting with our hoodies on. Well, with Evan with his hoodie on, he's gone all grandpa on me today. I caught a bit of sun, so I think I'm. Um, yep. I'm a 
allergic to bullshit. Allergic to bullshit. Yeah, the trade me one was all I really had locked up in the barrel. Ready to fire. As you can see, this table is not moving. I missed the sway, hey? I missed the sway, hey? So. <laughs> <laughs> what are you all doing for Christmas? We haven't. Well, no, you, you can't really say that, can you? We haven't, uh, fuck knows. <laughs> <laughs> we fuck knows. <laughs> uh, yes, some of us are lucky to have a, a Christmas off. Some of us aren't that lucky to have a Christmas off. Working through the Christmas. Comment, comment down under. If you are working through the Christmas, we'll have a whine on you. We'll whine about you. For shame. That's just horrible. Shame on you, little girl. Little boy. <laughs> it depends on who's wine. Yeah. Okay, so here's a little annoyance I have. Let, let me fill you in about this. Oh. This is a surprise for Lucinda as well. It's gonna be so interesting and the freaking bottle is finished. Charger cables. Ooh, heavens to Betsy. Help me. Every single device in our house uses the same cable. Now I have an old school Samsung, uh, A6 or whatever, and all the other devices are newer. Mine is the only one who can fuck up all those cables. <laughs> <laughs> so Yippin is literally whining about his device fucking up all the cables because that's exactly what happened. Yeah, because as soon as my device uses a cable, that cable needs to be that device's cable. But then every tip in the house with a tablet wants to come and plug in at my cable and then that stuffs it up for my phone for the future. Or even just goes out and he goes rogue and he just jams in his device and every other cable he sees around the house. Just so go. He pointed out to us, so it's color coordinated. Blue is for you, gold is for you, silver is for you, black is mine. Yet, he goes around and he just sticks in his I device. stick it in everywhere. everywhere. I just stick my thing he in everywhere. Black, white, I don't care, I just stick it in everywhere. <laughs> You tip me, I tap you. <laughs> uh, I spent so much time trying to locate a cable that'll charge my shit. I don't think ever it, anyone can comprehend the amount of cables we've chucked away. So many. This year alone, at least <laughs> 12. So what we do is we go to the $2 shop and we go shop ourselves some fab or what cables. Yeah. In a variety of cables. We slept on that thing, Dolly. Give me five cables. Who you go, which color you want. All the colors. <laughs> we make five cables. We take five cables. <laughs> and it's a monthly shop. Yep. They like, they can't wait to see us. When we enter, they like, yeah, you're five cables. Yeah, you're five cables. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. They know us by now. We'll be back. Next month. You get them ready for us. We're coming back. It's like having a prescription. Yeah. Yeah. Literally, when we take our kids into a two dollar shop, it's like so oh. much money. Why? Why? You you walk out with so much shit you're never gonna use. It's like ah, oh, I can see myself. You, it's it's totally trade me, but with within the store. Yeah, it's trade me it's in the store. It's trade. It's very relevant. Yeah. Though. It, it, we it, came full circle. Yeah. Obviously, all the people on trade me go buy stuff at the two dollars shop. Then they I, go, I've oh, seen oh, that. Mm. They like, here I've got this, whatever. And I'm like, I saw that in the two dollars. I got it for, for, from. Uh, I got it for Christmas. Yeah. Unwanted gift. Mm. 
Mm. I've seen that in uh, two dollar store. Then it's one dollar and it's five dollars delivered. <laughs> <laughs> you still think it's a bargain because boy, it's one dollar. It's six dollars. It's not two dollars, it's one. Yeah, it's one dollar. A two dollar store, two dollars. Yeah, it's one dollar. That would have cost you five dollars delivery or twenty dollars go and pick it up yourself. <laughs> Alright boys and girls, we're gonna sip with the loss of this wine. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, down under us. <laughs> Don't down so much, just down under. Send us a message <laughs> down below. Give us a like, give us a subscribe, send it on to some other mofo so they can send it on to some other mofo. And then, until next time, see ya!